In the previous video, we saw the selection, visibility, and collections in Blender to control the organization in our scene. And now, we are going to continue with the creation and deletion of the objects. Remember that if you are enjoying this series and want to go deeper, I invite you to take a look at my complete Blender course for beginners. You have the link in the video description. And now, let's go to the next level. Let's see now how the creation and deletion of objects works in Blender. The shortcut to create new objects is Shift-A. When we press Shift-A, we get this creation panel where we have a wide variety of objects to select. We can create geometry, curves, surfaces, bones, empty objects, lights, camera, etc. What we are interested in right now are the geometries. So let's start by creating a plane. As you can see that plane is created here in the whole middle of the scene. All the new objects are created where we have the 3D cursor located. And the 3D cursor is this little cross that we have here. By default it comes in the whole middle of the scene, but we can relocate it by clicking on any object. So if we create a new object, it will be created in the position of the 3D cursor, where we just put it. We can put it anywhere in the scene, and it will be created at that position. The position of that 3D cursor can be found in this right panel that we take out with the letter N and in the view menu. Here we have the position of the 3D cursor, and from here we can also manipulate it. We can also manipulate the position of the 3D cursor by pressing Shift S. When we do it, we get this menu with which we can decide its position. I can, for example, select this object and give it cursor to select it. Then the cursor sends it to the origin of this object. If I want to put it back to the center of the scene, I will press cursor to world origin, and the coordinates are all set to zero again. Okay, now to delete objects, we can press the X key. I'm going to select the object, press the X key, and Blender asks me if I want to delete this object. Then I confirm it. We can delete with the X key, or we can delete with the delete key. If we press the delete key, it deletes it immediately without asking us if we want to confirm the operation. Now when we create a new object, I will create in this case a UV sphere. This object is created with specific properties, which can be found here in this creation panel. If I click on it, these properties that the object has are displayed, and I can modify it directly from here. I can modify the geometry, the size, or the location. And it is created with these properties, but we can only open this panel immediately after creating the object. So for example, if I create a cube here, and then select another object, I lose that creation panel. So, as I say, we can only access to it right after creating the object. And each object has different properties. For example, I can manipulate the number of vertices of this cylinder. I can manipulate the size of the radius, and so on. And that's something that we will learn as we create new objects. Well, and finally we have the command to duplicate objects, which is Shift-D. So I select an object, and I duplicate it with Shift-D. And I can do it with several selected objects. If I press Shift-D, we duplicate it, like this. And that's it. With that, we have covered the whole topic of creating and deleting objects in Blender. Here on screen, I'll leave you the image with all the shortcuts we used in this session.